course, right now we're talking about the Cape Town Funny Fest, which has had many, many Cape Tonians and everyone who's been visiting here uh, in stitches. Yeah. Why? And part of the crowd that's making it happen is Felicity Ward is joining Yay. us this morning. Thank you so much for, for coming in. I, I know it's, it's crack of dawn. This is you. crack of dawn for comedians. This time doesn't actually exist you for push comedians. Right through. You push right <laughs> no, I mean I think we got to I think I got to sleep at midnight or something. So is that is that how hard it is in the comedic world? You guys work so hard through the night that you can't wake up very early. Is that how it is? Yeah, work is a word <laughs> that is definitely a word that gets used sometimes as a euphemism. No, we like the show doesn't finish till uh, ten thirty or eleven o'clock, wow. and then yeah, it's fine. Now, Felicity, you're quite a standout feature. I mean, a lot of South Africans obviously on the mix, which is in the yeah. mix, which is great. Um, have you learnt something about South African politics? <laughs> yeah, I've learnt a lot about South African politics there's a we don't use the word coloreds at all i feel funny even saying it um, quite frankly we don't use that in australia or the uk or the us at all so everyone's using it i'm like are we all okay with this right. is yeah. okay no you're cool with, i don't want to tell you how to refer to yourself um so that has been interesting but i mean we, it's just been yeah it's been amazing nearly every single comedian from south africa has spoken about politics yeah. or the country so you know, what I couldn't learn on a bus tour, now I'm learning on stage, so it's <laughs> Now, I'm always interested in learning about cultures whenever I travel around, and so obviously lots of people will be coming to your show, but you, you're from Australia. And I so really am. In, in trying to learn about your, your culture, we've compiled some Australian phrases and maybe you can kind of decipher those for us okay, so we sure. can understand yes, you better. happy like to. I, so, I speak yeah. fluent Aussie. All right, so what does this mean? Uh, bog in and have some tucker. Oh, bog in and have, like, well, bog in is, I mean, bog is more a euphemism for the toilet if you're oh, using the bog or oh, bog, oh, bog roll. No, 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 but, but I understand, but, like, to tuck in is to just to get stuck into your meal. Okay, and, yeah. the, and this one, uh, what a rip snorter. Yeah, if that's the if that's the best, if it's a belter, if it's a rip snorter, mate. <laughs> rip snorter, oh, yeah. that's the other thing is I didn't know that we say mate all the time. <laughs> and um, Charlene uh, Suchi Richards, who's hosting the show, one night I said to her at the end of my gig, I said, "Oh, thanks, mate," and she sort of looked at me, and I didn't realise <laughs> the cultural implication of the word. But we decided we deciphered that they are different words. All right, so here's another one. Uh, if something is is rigi digi, it's it's rigi digi. Is oh yeah, if it's rigi dig, it means it's all authentic or real but what? people haven't used that since the 80s that okay. was that was big in Paul Hogan South Africa that. was big in the 80s so yeah, we that's like right. to cling to that we, we really like to cling to that then what about this one Bunyip. Am I saying that right Bunyip. Oh, oh Bunyip. Bunyip. Yeah it's like a mythological creature that lives in the bush so it's like our Togolosi uh, yeah, absolutely. I have no idea what you just said. Australians have a bunyip. We have a bunyip. Is, what, what, what's the background behind the story of a bunyip? Where did it come from and why does it terrorise people? Do you, do you know, it's been so long since I've heard the word bunyip, I'm like, oh yeah, a we do have a bunyip. my baby. Yeah, that <gasps> <is> fresh. <laughs> that is also stuck in the on, 80s. Well on. done. Well and then uh, what's a, a carpetbagger steak? I have no idea what you just said. That is, that's not a real thing. Is it and rude? Is people, really rude? People are lying to you because that's not a real thing. Oi, a oi. carpet bag of snake? Well, apparently we, we, we have them on menus somewhere and they are beef stuffed with oysters. So it's a steak that's got oysters right. in it. That's You've just, never uh, had one before? Yeah, but it's Yummy. ringing a bell, but I don't, I mean, it sounds disgusting, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> oh, what's this in the middle of my steak? Oh, it's a booger. Oh, Cancel delicious. that in the kitchen. <laughs> Cancel the carpet bagger. Cancel extra on the carpet bagger. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, so so I mean, are you enjoying your first time really in South Africa? I, I... Oh, I really am. I'm having the time of my life. We went on safari. Oh. That was incredible. I saw all of your animals, saw your national animal, yeah. the rugby player. That was amazing. <laughs> oh! oh. Unless, here we go. Oh, we we rugby yeah, that's right. We know the Here answer. we go. Here we go. Should we talk about cricket? We can talk about cricket if you like. Because we're. Oh. Well, not. Yeah. Right, now stay tuned to your Field and Breakfast show. We'll be chatting to you, Felicity, a bit later on, get into a bit more Springbok Aussie. Little jibber jabber. Yeah, it was a bit of Aussie talk for you. You're just making words up now. Yeah. Have a bunyip about it, have a carpet bagger. Stay tuned, we'll be right back with more. <laughs>